This will be with a Toastmaster, Justin Salvato. Justin, are you ready? I'm ready, Mark. Okay. So, first off, this is this is you decided to do this as a specialty club, as a Toastmaster specialty club. For the people who aren't Toastmasters, what is a Toastmaster specialty club? So, a Toastmaster specialty club is a club that is unique in that where other clubs are conventionally geared towards public speaking, uh, a club can be geared towards, in this case, uh, video, other clubs do improv. Uh, it can be anything that you can find a group of people that have a common interest and that are willing to devote the time and energy to, uh, to make that club uh, work and function. So as a Toastmaster, why is it important for me to maybe start a new club? What, what are the advantages of doing a specialty club? Well, the specialty club or starting any club is a great way to reach out, meet new people. It's a way to uh, develop your organizational skills, your leadership skills. A lot of things need to come together to make everything happen. Uh, the Toastmasters program also encourages uh, the the members to create clubs. It's part of the lifeblood of the system. And a lot of uh, some of the elements that go into becoming a distinguished Toastmaster do require the participation of a new club, either as a coach or as a sponsor. So it, there's a lot of wonderful benefits from putting a club together. And, you know, look at the clubs that have been around for 50 years, and there are plenty of them. Uh, you know, it's, it's very satisfying to look back and know that uh, you had a hand in that creation of that club and it's bringing joy and skills to people for years and years to come. Thank you. What I was wondering, I've seen all the work that you've done putting this, getting this moving. It's a lot of work. So my yeah, question to you, my final question, what are the three biggest challenges you faced in getting video masters off the ground and, and rounding us up, rounding up all this cat, making it happen? <laughs> Yeah, well, let's start with the biggest challenge. Uh, Toastmasters was phasing out the previous uh, educational program, the legacy program, as it was called. So they put us on a very strict deadline. If we weren't done by March 30th of 2021, everything that we had done prior to that was gone. Uh, so unfortunately, and that was a very unique situation, the, the time restraints were critical. We had to have uh, 20 members. We had to have everyone signed up. We had to receive their money. We had to turn it into Toastmasters uh, before that day so that everything could be processed so that it could take effect and make it work. And it wasn't, so my DTM hung in the balance, but there were Karen Woolsey's uh, DTF also hung in the balance. So there was a lot of pressure associated with, with bringing that together. So that was the, the strict time restraints that we were up against was the most challenging. Uh, the second one was just trying to communicate the idea and the vision to enough people that they would invest not only their money, uh, but their time. So getting out the message to people that aren't familiar with Toastmasters that had a, some interest in video, but didn't know exactly how they were gonna utilize it in their life. And if we were going to actually be a benefit to them, trying to get that message across was the other uh, difficult part. And then I'd say the third challenge that was, that's unique to a specialty club like Video Masters was we had to create a whole new format. We wanted to create a format that followed some of the Toastmasters basic um, content so that it looked familiar, but different. And that's how we came up with the structure of Video Masters. So I would say that those were the three elements that were the most challenging in organizing the club. Well, thank you, Justin. That's some great information. I think it's gonna be of value to other Toastmasters, people that want to start a specialty club. So I appreciate you taking the time. I wanna thank you. And now back. And before you jump in, I did post uh, a link in the chat. That link shows the manual and the Toastmasters manual is very clear. So if anyone had any specific uh, interest in doing this, that manual is going to be a really great resource uh, in 
what the process is and how to go about it, including all of the forms that are necessary. Very good. I'll post that along, you know, on the website when we do it. I'll post it at the video Voyagers Toastmasters site and also at Video Masters. Thank you. Right.